click on the subscribe button and turn the notification bell. Hi, my name is Richard and thank you for stopping by to my channel. Today we're going to talk about drones. I know my channel has been about uh, video editing tutorials lately, but my channel is all about my personal hobbies and interest and one of them is drone. So let's take a break from video editing and talk about drones a bit for today's episode and maybe for the coming episodes too. I'll start off by talking about one of the biggest questions on the legality of flying your drones in Japan. So the question is, is it legal to fly your drone in Japan? Stay tuned to find out the answer. But first, I'm going to introduce to you the real Richard. Hi. So, is it legal to fly your drone in Japan? I don't want to explicitly say that it is legal to fly your drone in Japan. So here's the thing. There was an incident in 2015 that a drone was flown full of radioactive materials over Prime Minister Shinzo Abe's house. By that time, there was no law that was implemented um, in flying your UAV or your unmanned uh, aerial vehicles, except of course, no flying near airports. So the government reacted to that uh, incident and triggered to regulate a new law in flying your drone. So go back to the question, is it legal to fly your drone in Japan? I think that the more appropriate question is, can you fly your drone in Japan? And the answer is absolutely yes. This is of course contrary to some of the sites that says, yes, it is legal to fly your drone in Japan. But that could be misunderstood as, yes, it is absolutely legal and people might start believing it and fly their drone instantly without taking any extra precautions of some restrictions. So a law was passed on about flying your quadcopter here and that confirms yes, you can, but under the provision of some of these circumstances. So what are these circumstances? These circumstances allow you to fly your drone without any special paperwork or getting a license unlike in the united states where you really need to take a license before flying your drone so again to reiterate you can fly your drone in japan without a license so what are these circumstances and this is all pretty much basic um, common knowledge but still it is important to know this as fault you may also want to take note that drones yeah lighter than 200 grams are exempted to these rules So number one, so drones may operate within VLOS or visual line of sight. So as plain as it is, it is much safer that you fly your drone in plain sight. Now it raises the question, what about um, goggles, also known as FPV goggles? Uh, my opinion on this is it might not be considered as your own visual line of sight. So this is quite difficult to judge. So I think that you should know the maximum altitude of your drones check if flying on that altitude you can still see your aircraft before using it and as always it is best to contact your authority for confirmation flying within visual line of sight would also mean that you only have to fly drones during daytime so number two no flying near airport so prior to the 2015 incident this has been a common law already being implemented so enough said on this one number three drones may not fly within 30 meters of did did stands for densely inhabited districts 30 meters away from people or 30 meters away from private property so that would mean there's there are no drones in a concert or a sports event or even in fireworks um, where there are huge gathering of people let alone fireworks can only be done during during nighttime so if you want to take a top view of the famous crossing in shibuya that's a big no-no you need to get your license that would also mean no flying over power lines public transportation such as trains and shinkansens and public parks but this is all common sense number four 
Number four, drones may not be used to transport hazardous materials. So this is of course in retrospect to the 2015 incident that once again, you don't need to touch risky materials such as uh, radioactive in nature, explosive or sharp objects su such as knives or anything that you can think of if being accidentally dropped on human being could potentially cause damage. And for number five, the maximum allowable altitude. So before I talk the maximum allow allowable altitude, I'm going to show you, introduce you to the map that show you zones where you can safely fly your drone. I'm going to add links into the description below. Uh, one of which is the map from the authorities. And number two, a dedicated page from DJI. So basically, if you click one of the maps, there are yellow zones and yellow zones are most likely the zone which you can fly your drone hmm. that actually kind of rhymes anyway and red and green means don't ever think about it there's no fly zones in there so now for the maximum allowable altitude there are no statements or it was not explicitly mentioned in the official website however you should pay attention that if you ever think of flying around in airspace near airports or in a crowded area you need to get a license should you need to fly more than 150 meters above ground level then you need to secure a permission from ministry of land transport and tourism i also have summarized dji drones and their effective altitude limit so you need to know your limitations so with these specifications, you may want to adjust your maximum altitude accordingly. So now you can simply buy a drone and fly as long as you're in a safe fly zone. And for the extra tip, flying a drone is just like driving a car. You, you need to be sober and sound physically and mentally. So it is your responsibility to check that yourself before taking off. For a final note, if you need to fly your drone, besides the aforementioned circumstances, you need to get some paperwork done and get some special permission from the Ministry of Land, Infrastructure, Tourism and Transport. I'm going to put a link in the description below where you can check out their website. So that's it guys. These are the five restrictions that you need to know before flying your drone in Japan. Thank you for watching. So see you on the next episode. Maybe we'll talk about something very basic about drones. Peace out and be safe.